The Bo 105 light utility helicopter was developed by Messerschmitt Bokoblom MBB of West Germany in the early 70s. Originally it was intended for civil market, but due to its high maneuverability and excellent climb rate a military version has been created. The Bo 105 was license produced in Indonesia, Philippines, South Korea and Spain. This helicopter has been widely exported even despite high unit cost. It remains in service with at least 20 countries around the world. This helicopter is operated by a crew of one or two pilots. It can also accommodate up to three troops or two litters. Most light helicopters have only one engine, but the Bo 105 has two of them. It is an important advantage, as if one engine fails, the machine can return to base on the other. The Bo 105 has internal payload capacity of 690 kg. It can also carry one 200 kg slinged externally. It is used for observation, utility transport, and anti-tank roles. The PAH-1 is the most famous anti-tank version of this helicopter. The Bo 105 was designed during the Cold War, when the West Germany was constantly threatened by Warsaw Pact's tank invasion. So the primary mission of the PAH-1 was anti-tank combat. West German Army acquired more than 300 of Bo 105 helicopters, two-thirds being the PAH-1 anti-tank variant. This compact, fast and extremely agile helicopter was perfectly suited for anti-tank missions. Armed with six Euro missile hot long-range anti-tank guided missiles, it could cover behind trees, hills and buildings. Its roof-mounted infrared sights allows the crew to engage targets at night and in bad weather. Modernization of these helicopters included fitting fire and forget-type missiles. Most of the PAH-1 helicopters are being replaced with the new Tiger Attack helicopter. Secondary role of the Bo 105 was to support ground infantry units. For this mission this helicopter can be armed with various pods with unguided rockets. Its speed and maneuverability made this helicopter a harder target to hit. The Bo 105 demonstrated its great aerobatic capabilities during numerous airshows. This versatile helicopter was built in more than 20 versions. The MBB was later purchased by Daimler-Benz and eventually became a part of Eurocopter. Production of the Bo 105 ceased in 2001. It was replaced in production by a new Eurocopter EC-135.